I'm sure many of you at home have some questions about breast implant illness. We're seeing a lot of patients in clinic right now with questions about this because it's very, very common to see this on the news media and online right now. It's a hot topic. And so I wanna just bring some information to you on what we know about breast implant illness and what this is and uh, what you need to know about this if you have implants. So breast implant illness isn't a diagnosis per se, but it's a constellation of symptoms that people are associating with implants. Uh, this is really that people with implants have some symptoms now that they didn't have before the implants, and that may be months or years later, and they're concerned that these symptoms have an associated association with the implants themselves. And so they're really trying to um, figure out which symptoms are associated and if there's a direct correlation, but at this time, we don't exactly know what that direct correlation is or if there is one. Well, unfortunately, there's no specific test because we don't have any direct correlation that says the implants are causing this necessarily, and we don't know exactly which symptoms are truly associated with this. So there's no direct test. Often what we're doing right now is testing a wide autoimmune panel just to look for any other causes that might be there. Patients often often present to my clinic uh, with concerns about breast implant illness because they want to know if I will remove their implants. And what I've often seen is that patients with these symptoms have gone all over and, and evaluated their symptoms with a variety of doctors, primary care and endocrinology. And if you've done that and you haven't found a cause and haven't found um, an ability to treat this concern, I think removing the implants is a reasonable request. And typically this is done with a capsulectomy in order to remove any fragments of silicone that might be present. Um, and you know, these implants are not required, they're not medicine, and so if you want them out at any point in time for breast implant illness or any other reason, that is a reasonable request and we're happy to do that. For patients that have implants placed for cosmetic purposes, this is currently not a removal indication that is covered by your insurance company because it is considered a cosmetic implant and removal of that implant is also considered cosmetic. Uh, for those patients who have had a place for breast cancer purposes, this can often be done through your insurance company and we just require that we pre-authorize that through your insurance. If you're experiencing symptoms that you're concerned are associated with your breast implants, the first thing to do is to make sure with your primary care provider that there's no other major medical concern going on that you can have easily treated and that should be evaluated by your primary care physician. The second thing is we are happy to see you at any point in time and discuss breast implant illness and your options with you.